So you're thinking about moving to Vista, California, but you're not quite sure on where you wanna live. Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain everything you need to know about Vista so you can make a better decision. And then if you stick with me till the end, I'll go over a quick real estate market update here in Vista to give you a better idea of where your budget might fall. So let's go ahead and get after it now. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you like to know more about San Diego real estate or life here in San Diego or Vista, make sure you tap that subscribe button below. My name is Nick and I get calls, text, emails every day from you guys and I love it. So if you're thinking about making a move in a week, a month, a year, make sure you reach out because I'd love to help save you a lot of time and help you make a smooth move here to San Diego or Vista. Now, like I mentioned, we're gonna talk a lot about Vista today because I wanna get you guys more familiar with how cool Vista really is because it to me it's quite the hidden gem and it has a lot of great features about it. So I wanna walk you guys through that and give you guys a better idea of what to expect. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer. All right, so I have Vista pulled up right here. You can see it's gonna be this red outline right here and it has kind of a funky little shape to it and it does have some unincorporated parts of San Diego County which gives it that funky shape. So I'll go over that in a little bit but first, you can see that Vista is a pretty large city, especially for San Diego, and the population right now is at about 100,000 people. So before we dive into that, I wanna show you guys where it is because it is, you gotta keep it in mind, it is one of your most North County cities here in San Diego. So if you have to commute to places like downtown San Diego, or let's say you have to go to the airport, which is in downtown, that's gonna be about a 45 minute to an hour drive, depending on traffic. Let me actually look it up right now because there should be no traffic right now. It's about midday. And I'm gonna guess and say it's gonna be about 45 minutes, but let's see what the good old Google Maps is telling us. So it's pretty close. So about 47 minutes, that's with no traffic, about 42 miles. So you got two routes you can take, right? You can take the 78 to the five, or you can take the 78 to the 15 and head all the way down. So I'd probably recommend to take the five. It's a little bit more scenic. The lanes can be a little bit wider sometimes. So make sure that you know you're, you're gonna be looking at about an hour drive to the airport or downtown San Diego. So if you're doing that a couple times a week or a few times a month, it could get a little repetitive and you might wanna look somewhere a little more south. But anyways, now that you guys know that, let's dive back into Vista. Let's zoom into it. And to show you guys, you have a couple neighboring cities which are all very good. You're gonna have Oceanside, which is gonna be just to the west. You're gonna have San Marcos, which is just to the east. And then you're gonna have Carlsbad just right below. Great part is too, being in Vista, being inland, you're only about 20 minutes to the ocean. So if you wanna go have a quick beach day, I mean, the temperature is gonna change pretty pretty drastically from Carlsbad to you know middle of Vista. You're, it could jump up you know, 10, 15 degrees in the summertime. So it can get a little bit hotter, but you do have some good coastal breeze. So that's something to pay attention to. But what I'll do for you guys, and I wanna give you guys just an overview because if you're really considering Vista, then I wanna show you guys where you're gonna be shopping, you know, kind of the local stuff and the things you should know about because Vista is a large place and I'm just not gonna be able to cover it all. So let's talk a little bit first about the north side of Vista because you're gonna have one high school up here, which is gonna be Vista High School. And then you're gonna have all these little yellow areas on the map. That's gonna be more commercial and shopping plazas. So you can see you have a good amount of it pretty much spread out. No matter where you live in Vista, I think you're probably gonna be about 15 minute max to a very nice shopping center where you're gonna have everything you could need. Let's look over here. This is gonna be a newer area. You have some like, you have a Sprouts over there. You have an Albertsons, you have a ton of stuff. So that's a great shopping center. But let me talk a little bit about the residential because you got residential area all up in here. You have residential and you can see too, when you start to see the windy roads like this down here, this is what I think of when I think of Vista. I think of windy roads, I think of countryside, more country feel homes, and your price will go a lot further in Vista than it will in San Marcos, than it will go in Carlsbad for sure, because the median home price in Vista is about 850,000. You look at Carlsbad, which is 30 minutes away, it's about double, $1.6 million. So huge difference, and you're gonna be able to find something with some land, so it really depends on your personality and what you're looking for, but you can find condos for as low as $500,000, and you can find you know, multi-million dollar estates on big acreages, so it just depends on what you're looking for. But this part of Vista, which is, like I said, gonna be the windy roads and things like that, make sure you drive slow on these windy roads, you, know, you can find a single family home for around $800,000. So it's something to be aware of and know, 
And here's a nice hidden gem where a lot of people should spend more time is gonna be Bringle Terrace Park. And if you haven't seen my vlog on Vista, make sure you check it out because I go to Bringle Terrace Park and I go to the downtown area of Vista, which we'll talk about in a second. So make sure you check that out, it'll be helpful. Now, Bringle Terrace Park, great park. It's huge, it's actually massive, and you have a little bit of everything there for everybody. You have basketball courts, uh, baseball, you have soccer fields, you have bocce ball, you have horseshoes, you have a botanical garden, you have a frothing course, which is gonna be frisbee golf, so you have a ton of things there. So if you're looking to have a picnic or just go have a day in a park, make sure you check that place out. Bring your dog, it's a great place to go meet people. So that's gonna be a nice little gem to make sure you keep on your radar. And then let's move over here. Now let's talk about the downtown area of Vista. Now this is gonna be the more historic area. This is where you can go out and get some drinks, you can get some really good food. And you know you can have a great date night over here too because what I like is you can go to, let's say you wanna go get sushi, go to Miko Sushi, great sushi spot. And then you could go walk over to the Sinopolis, which is a newer plaza just west of this old district over here. So you can go to Sinopolis, go see a movie, walk back to your car over here, go get some Handel's ice cream, which is great ice cream. I mean, you have a ton of stuff to do over here. And I don't wanna skip this because actually two things, there's actually a dive bar that's been here. It's a karaoke bar, it's not even popping up on the Google Maps, that's how divey it is. Now, there's a bar right here called Smitty's and it's a karaoke bar and it goes, it gets pretty crazy in there, but it's a fun time and you also have Pepper Tree. Now, this place is the best, it's been there forever. If you're wondering how I know so much about Vista, it's because I, I kind of grew up in Vista from my younger days. I went to elementary school, I'll show you that in a second, but Pepper Tree Frosty right here, it's like an ice cream stand. It's always busy, especially through the night. So if you wanna go get a milkshake or go get ice cream of some sort and take the kids, definitely check this place out. It's been there forever and you have some food on the other side of the building if you wanna get you know, a cheeseburger and fries, things like that. They have chili cheese fries, they're delicious, although you won't feel 100% after. So sometimes it's worth it, it just depends. But anyways, that's gonna be you know the downtown area where you're gonna probably go have some nightlife and cool historic, like a cute downtown area feel to it. So. That's gonna be that, you got some grocery stores, you have all that stuff. So that's gonna be a big community that you'll, or a big plaza that you'll probably go to often, especially if you live over here. Really, if you live anywhere in Vista, it's not that far, it's gonna be five, 10 minutes. And then I gotta show you guys, you can see Vista's got this funky shape, but Costco's gonna be over here, which is gonna be off of Emerald over here. And then you're gonna have some unincorporated spots of Vista, like I said. And the only difference with unincorporated San Diego is there's just different um, zoning rules for some of the land, uh, and there's different Airbnb rules. So that's the only big difference. Now, right here, Buena Creek. This is all this is all a Vista area, Vista zip code, Vista address, but it's considered unincorporated San Diego. See, it doesn't show up on the maps when you look at it. But great homes, same thing. Buena Creek is awesome back there. Very beautiful homes. We'll jump just south of the 78 now. You have another huge complex over here. You have two gyms, you have an LA Fitness, and you have a, I think it's a Planet Fitness over there. Target, you have a Walmart, and a bunch of other little things. You got some fast food and things like that. So keep that on your radar. You're definitely gonna be shopping there if you live anywhere in Vista. Buena Vista Park. This is another great park because you have a lagoon, you have some trails, you can go walk the dog, and it's just a cool park to go hang out at. And another neighborhood, definitely keep on your radar. It's gonna be more track home style homes. They're gonna be you know, newer built homes, 2000 and up. It's gonna be Shadow Ridge. That's the name of the community. And it's gonna be pretty much this whole zone here. So you can find a home in there, single family home for like 750 and up. So it's keep that on your radar as well. And then last but not least, let's move down here because this is gonna be where all the breweries are. So if you like beer and getting a brewski, I mean, you're gonna have, <laughs> like a ridiculous amount of options. I wanna say Vista is definitely probably one of the top microbrewery uh, capitals in the entire world. I mean, you have so many things. You have Booze Brothers, which is a great one. You're gonna have Belching Beaver over here. You're gonna have Battle Mage. I mean, there's it, it's not even populating all of them. You have Dogleg right here. This is, and they all have their own little niche to it, which is cool because Dogleg is literally a golfing brewery. So you can go hit the a golf simulator there, grab a beer. You have Battle Mage, which is literally for mag people that like magic cards. I mean, most of them have niches, which is, it's pretty cool. So it gets a certain kind of vibe in there. 
And you know, if you like beers and doing that type of stuff, you're gonna have plenty to do as far as that goes. But that's pretty much just gonna wrap up Vista. I wanted to give you a better feel for it and give you a better understanding. But now I wanna talk a little bit about the real estate market and give you a better idea on that. So let's go look at that. All right, so now let's dive a little bit into this real estate market info, just to give you guys an idea of what's happening in the market here in Vista. And you can see right here, I'm using Redfin because it's just the most simplest way to explain it to you guys. And I just wanna hit a few data points. And the first one we'll touch base on is the median sales price. At the moment, it's at about $833,000, which is up about 12% from the last year. So that's pretty darn good. And you can see right here, the average home sells after about 23 days on the market compared to about 13 days last year. Now, I think last year they were more, they were selling quicker than that, probably in about five days. And to see it go back to that, you know, upwards of two weeks being on the market, this is very normal. This is very good, especially if you're a buyer. So something to pay attention to. And then one thing I wanna dive into is I always like to look at this info because these are the top 10 inbound metros according to Redfin. These are people that are actively looking on Redfin. And you can see right here, these are the markets that are looking in Vista the most. Los Angeles is number one with 28,000 searches, and that's just in a two month span from July to September. And this is only on Redfin, remember? So this isn't counting Zillow searches, Google searches, YouTube searches, it's not counting any of that. So you can see far second would be San Jose, and then you got Seattle, and you have Chicago. So you can see they're, they're coming from the same markets for the most part, and I always find the same um, especially when I start talking to you guys, I find out that you guys are all moving here for the same thing, and it's usually the quality of life. So very understandable because Vista and San Diego in general is a beautiful place, and you have a really good quality of life. But before we end this, I wanna show you guys just a few properties because you can find, you know, you can find condos starting at about $500,000, and you can also find you know, multi-million dollar, beautiful, really beautiful homes on big acreage here in Vista. So it's just something you need to be aware of. There is gonna be a lot of options for you in Vista, which is why I like it a lot. So the first one we'll dive into is going to be this one right here. None of these are my listings, but this one's gonna be off of Palomar Place. And this one's listed for about 615,000, three bedroom, two bath, two and a half bath, about 1,400 square feet, so it puts the price per square foot at about 435. Now you can see it has nice little back do back backyard, little outdoor living. Um, inside looks very clean. Looks like it was well maintained. Might need some upgrades depending on your taste, but hey, it's completely livable. So that's pretty much what 615,000 will get you. And then we can move on. This one's going to be a single family home, and this is listed at about $800,000. Looks like they had a price drop of about $41,000. Three bed, two and a half bath, about 2,000 square feet. Price per square foot is a little bit lower at about 400. You got some HOA fees in there, but this house looks great. I mean, just from the outside, it's gonna be a newer build. This one looks like it was built in 2012, so it's a newer built home. Um, I know exactly where this community is and it's very close to Costco and you have some really good shopping over there. So that's, you know, with that $800,000 range will probably get you. And then this is gonna be above a million. Now we're gonna be more in that country vibe back here. This is gonna be in the hills of Vista. This is actually off of Buena Creek. And this house looks great. Kind of more of like a family home. It's probably got some acreage. Let's see if I can see the acreage. Sorry, my screen's, I'm blocking it for you guys. Sorry about that. But anyways, four bedroom, two and a half bath, about 2,500 square feet. And yeah, so you got 25,000 square foot lot, which is gonna be over half an acre. So not too shabby, but that's pretty much what you can expect in Vista. But like I said, it's very price friendly. So depending on what you're looking, looking for, your budget's gonna go further in Vista than it will in San Marcos or Oceanside or even definitely Carlsbad, because Carlsbad, that average price point is about, it's about double, it's about $1.6 million and it's your neighboring city. So just, you know, the more you know, hopefully this video was able to give you better information so you can make a better decision. And like I said, guys, if you're ever looking to, if you have a question or you're looking to move here to Vista or anywhere in San Diego, make sure you reach out because I'd love to save you a lot of time. And you know, I'll see you guys in the next video.